I'll show you what I mean. I'll take a two bar f phrase um, of the drum part. I'll take these two bars, copy them across, and I want to record a magnificent bass line. I'll set this track up, I'll play along to it, and I'll set this one to, to normal. Normal means that um, every time I do a new take, fresh take or a fresh go at re recording a bass line, and then as soon as I think I like the bass line, I stop the recording during the next um, take. So I'll, I'll show you what I mean. You press record as, as before. Okay, we've got the drum groove. And now I'll um, come up with the bass line. Here we go. And see, the bass line is gone. I could record a new bass line. But let's say I'll stop it now and think, oh, that was a really good one. So I'll hit the stop button. And then the bass line I've just recorded is back again. I'll delete this one and I'll show you what happens if you start to record bass lines and then go, oh, I didn't really like this. So I'll hit record. One, two, three, four. Didn't like this one. Didn't like it either. Okay, I think I can live with the last one. And I just stop the recording process. Um, and then you just take those two parts again, copy them across, Control K, copy, Alt P, set up a different loop, delete that bit there, you've got a new goal, keep the old idea in your head, but this time vary it ever so slightly, so I'll add a different rhythm to it. good but actually I think I preferred the last note to be slightly different so I'll do another take okay I, th I think I prefer that version so I hit stop and now I've got two two ideas which are very similar I can change the position of the left locator Um, made something up which evolves. And um, if you were to use these two elements on the tune, you'd, um, you'd probably think about how often these parts would be played. So you'd move those two bits, copy this one three times maybe, Give it a colour, move those two bits back, do the same thing again, Control K, and give these parts a colour as well. And now we've got an 8 bar loop here with the first idea, playing for 8 bars, and then it goes into the second idea for the next 8 bars. Another really fantastic mode for cycle recording is is the add mode. There it is, the add mode. Every time you do a new take, the add mode will add a new track and you keep your old idea and then you can go back to whatever you've played and listen listen to your old ideas and then choose the, the idea that you want to keep. 
So I'm going to find um, a string movement, a string movement for for these last four bars, and um, and you can keep an eye on this track. I'll call it strings, maybe strings, and um, and I'm going to play a lot of a lot of takes which aren't very good, but some of them might be quite interesting and have a bit of a bit of musical sparkle in them. And I'll later on edit those parts and find out which ones I like the most. So for now, I'm going to just press record and see what I can come up with. Again, it's a new line. Another line. I think you get the idea. I'll stop the recording process. And you can see I've recorded so and so many different ideas here. And now I just need to mute and unmute different ideas and I personally delete the ones I don't like straight away As you can see, I'm a little bit in between which which part I like the most now, but um, but that's just because I'm just messing around with with some musical ideas and I haven't really got a clear concept of what I want to do. But um, in reality, I usually know pretty well which parts I like and which parts I don't like. And the ones I don't like, I tend to delete straight away just to um, stop clutter on clutter on the screen, and and then I just I just choose which one I prefer. Let's say I prefer. I think I prefer that one with the with the chords for some reason. So I I might just take that part and delete all of these and delete all those tracks afterwards again. And then you end up with a new string part which is not um which hasn't got the um the tackiness of being composed. It sounds quite quite realistic and lively and um and it's got a bit of an improvisational feel to it and usually those things add to the quality of the tracks in the end.